Oh, nice. I think that's a 46. See the guy selling the one that we worked on? Yeah. <laughs> she asked for $6,500. Cheaper than the C10. Yeah, but some uh, some interesting pageant. Yeah, look, it's for the 63 annual, the 63rd annual race in 1979. Now think about that car. Right now, that car doesn't look like much, but in 1979, the car was ahead of its time. Right. Back, yeah. Four cylinder turbo. Someday. This would be so cool on the side of like the 49. Yeah. Like a vent look. That's exactly what I need. <laughs> yeah. We can ride around our parking lot. So if we have to go out in the parking lot, then we, we you do just, that. yeah, a little scoot out there. These cars are gold. Watch. Oh my gosh, here it is. <laughs> a Corvette wheel. Oh, okay. I only have four spares. I need <laughs> I need eight more. I gave away like eight of those wheels. Ah, uh, those are cool. That's what I have in my Malibu. I have a fetish for them. Oh, that's a GTO lid. Oh yeah. That's my unicorn. You're gonna that build car. a car from the ground yeah, up? Yeah, from the lid. Uh -huh. Start. <laughs> I, I've always wanted a 65 GTO, so I'm gonna start with the trunk lid. That makes sense. So what we do is we get the trunk lid and then the whole vision comes to life. <laughs> this is dangerous. <laughs> I want to come back with a 65 GTO trunk lid, a 92 Corvette front end, some a 62 Impala console. And what do we got? Stuff to put somewhere. Yes. Let's see the intake manifold. That thing right there. Yeah. Pizza box. That's an old NASCAR intake. For a thousand bucks. For NASCAR NASCAR. <laughs> Look at that thing with the uh, the tachometer in the uh -huh. the bottom. They call that a knee knocker. Okay. Knee knocker tack. Three eighty three Roadrunner stuff. That's another one of my favorite cars. Three eighty three. Mmm. Ooh. This is a forty nine fifty four dash. Oh, nice. Fifty one. That's a knobs. That's a nice shape too. That's not a bad price. You can get it? Nope. <laughs> I mean, do I want to? Yeah. <laughs> Lots of Should motors. We? Jeez. No. Six liter motor, 170,000 miles, 1250. Uh huh. I don't think what we have is a bad investment. <laughs> we need one of those things. Yeah. Hoist. Right? Five, three. That'd be nice. <laughs> Big C clamps. Nice. Yeah. Oh, look at this. this is really cool right here. So that's two four barrel carburetors and then this triangulated snorkel here where it pulls in air through there mm -hmm. and pulls it into that. This is crazy. That's rare probably. Nice. Because you probably. You got what? Like one of 200. That's one of 200? <laughs> that's crazy. And it's for a Pontiac? Wow. I knew they did them. Did they do them for Cadillacs or something Cadillac, too? Packer, our Mopar did them. And you got that. I bet that air cleaner is impossible to find. Yeah. Wow. Where They're did you find the, it? Like all the air cleaners are just a little bit different. Was it all like in an old NASCAR shop or something? Or? It was in a car I bought. It wasn't wow. on the car, it was in it. Was it? See, what, this pod articulates a little bit, missed the heater box. Oh, really? And it's on a cam? Yeah, see, yeah, see how yeah, it's off center. And Packard, they didn't do that. Uh, Chrysler had ribs. Now, uh, Chrysler was doing the cross rams, though, right? They yeah, were they did those too. Yeah. In the 50s? And then it had the dual point distributor, and that's the right, right dual point distributor. This so, a, what, what cubic sort of. inch would this be? Like a yeah. in 56? I mean, that's right there at the dawn of the 265. 316. 316 cubic 316. inches. But a 3.94 bore. It's a big bore for yeah. that year. That is crazy, man. It's some rare stuff. And it was like an actual NASCAR. Yeah. And you found and it just about we, about ten miles from Junior Johnson. Oh, really? And Junior was still alive, and I had a source to contact him. And he, he wanted to know where and how I got it and all that. And he said, you know, he said, 
probably definitely came from my shop, but he said, I won't probably. guarantee that. Yeah. Either that or Holman and Moody, right? I mean, like, yeah. Yeah. those would have probably, and I don't know, Holman and Moody did anything Pontiac did that. I don't know. I know somebody who probably knows. But it's, it's good stuff. Somebody, somebody lifted one of my. Oh, really? <laughs> the only thing I can do. And that's threaded? Yeah. That's great. Where would you even find the motor that that connects to, though? It would be impossible. I kept right? thinking I'll find a 56 Safari wagon to yeah. put that on it, but they've got so high I can't, can't afford one. That's easily one of the coolest things I've ever seen. I mean, I didn't even know they made, Pontiac made it. Because, you know, they weren't really big in NASCAR, were they? It's been in the AACA last year. They have a photographer for the AACA that yep. comes around, and he took a picture of it and put it in the AACA magazine. So, so. That's, that's kind of verified good. to me it was rare. Oh, yeah. No, sure. That's, I mean, that's insane, man. Lots of carburetors out here this time. Yeah. Just no one want them anymore. Yep. Nobody knows how to work on them. They're all scared of them. That's why they say, oh, they're no good. Oh, hmm. uh, look, one more Corvette wheels. Hmm. I've only got eight of those. Could be 12. I really want that 65 GTO trunk lift. Uh -huh. I really want a 65 GTO. I know. It might be cheaper to build it from the ground up. Nope. <laughs> no, they don't make the parts for them. Oh, we've got to fabricate what you got to fabricate. Cool. It's a losing proposition these days. Oh, more Corvette wheels. Mm. <laughs> these are tires on them. $350 for the set. And they're the ones with the black on them. Hmm. Is that good? Don't let me buy them. Oh my god. <laughs> uh, Keith Dorton set it up. Um, yeah. He is way more talented than I am. Yeah. So um, uh, he, he set up the linkage and, and got it all dialed in. Really? Yeah. Can you imagine? Yeah, the, honestly, the only reason I even sold it is because uh, I picked up a, a Wien WC4D uh, a couple weekends ago. Did you? And it's a, it's a Wien version, a Wien 4.2. So, um, yeah. <laughs> Guy that used to drive the grave digger. He's famous. Are you looking for him? That's cool, man. Yeah. Service to get out of the line. Yeah. 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 Six five. Oh, is it twenty six five? Jeez, that's a nice car, though. Is that brown? Yep. Barn. With a rack. Thank you too. That's a good deal, actually. Uh huh. Yeah, if we had something to put that in, that'd be a good deal. Because, like, that's the got truck. everything. <laughs> and that's got the brakes, the whole deal. The rack companion. I bet that rack's worth 300 bucks. We got a truck. 70 Chevy van. Yeah, that's a pretty good deal. 
need that front end, I got authority to sell it. Man, I, I, I think it's a good deal. I just don't have anything to put in. It's too wide. It's too wide for everything I got. I got a 49 Ford. I'd love to put that in there, but it's too wide. Have you checked with Flat Out Engineering? Flat Out Engineering sells kits. There was some guy in Ohio. Is he in Ohio? There was some guy in Ohio I called. Uh, I he's out of Texas. Really? But I've just got the brake calipers and the, hey, the racks, $300. It, it's the best deal of any front end you can. Yeah. Instead of them Mustang two front ends and all that junk. Oh, I know. That's those, way better. Those, all those arms will polish, show polish. You can, you can shot, you know, that aluminum will polish up like mirror finish. Well, no, they make, uh, I mean, they make that. Van Steel, I think, makes aftermarket stuff for it. No, it, it's the way to go. If you ever put a front end on it, I put one under a 46 Chevrolet truck, I put one under a 57 Chevrolet truck. Oh, yeah. And that's got the spindles where you can... We did a 46 Chevrolet truck and we did it just like this and just welded the frame to here. We just used this. And it fit perfect. And the truck rides like a dream. Yeah, this is the kind of stuff that gets me in trouble. Yeah. I've already got an independent rear out of a... 2016 Mustang we Shelby put, yeah, we sitting put, in my shop, and I'm like, we put the front and the back end under my 57. Well, yeah, that's I what I heard. There's, that, that's the there is a company that's flat out engineering. Yeah, it's just bracket, and then they will bolt to the frame in the existing I bet it rides holes. Good after you do that. And then you don't have to handle like a I need to stay away from it. <laughs> <laughs> I've got authority to sell it for a good price now. Yeah. So. <laughs> yeah, he's a closer. He's a closer, isn't he? I've got a 65 C10 that I put a 2010 suit to call Camaro in the pink. Really? So I've got to do did you have to flare? Like, how did the width go? I mean, did you have to narrow it or what? It's, it's actually about the same as the factory width. Really? But it's all out. So instead of having like a deep dish rim or something, right, you, you got to run the base set, which I have in CO6. Oh, that's a oh, picture of that? Uh, 50, did we say 56? 65. 65 I've got a 57. Right. I've got a 57 and we did a 46 and a 57 truck. Uh, Where are y'all from? Uh, I'm Where? out of Georgia. Oh, yeah. I'm out of Virginia. But I'm telling you, they, you even got the sway bar with it. If you are going to put a front end on any vehicle out there, there ain't nothing like those things there. Yeah, that's a, it's got a lot of parts on it. Yeah, I got a 49.4. I need to do something on the front, and I really don't want to do Mustang too. But it's got to. But but correct me if I'm wrong though. If I narrow it, now the rack doesn't work. Now it changed the roll set. You know, why would you have to narrow? I, I, the, there's something about a 49.4. They're narrow. Yeah, I don't. I don't think you can. You can buy offset wheels that are I don't, I don't think it's you enough. Want. What is it? I'd have to look. I need to research that. Actually. The, I mean, Remember the Corvette I wheels that were going there. I just think. So, oh, trust me, I got a bunch of them. Yeah. You can buy <laughs> I got them on my, I got them on 67 <laughs> Chevelle. I got, I got saw blades on my Chevelle. Actually, I got salvage. The 46 Chevrolet truck that we built, like I said, we used it just exactly like that, and everything fit perfect in your 46 Ford, I mean, your 46 Chevrolet truck, you can imagine. Yeah, they're pretty Research it and make a lap back by here and see how how my heart is about it. This is the stuff I don't need to see it.